Um, well, originally I tried to become an artist, so this was my first intention. And uh, uh, when I realized that I'm lacking the talent, I wanted to stay in this field. I was fascinated by the art world and I was just looking for my place there. You know, I could have worked for a museum or for an artist and then decided to open my own very small space in Austria, in Salzburg. And then kind of grew with the artist who became known, you know, at the same time then the gallery was growing and uh, moved then to Paris and opened my first bigger space there. And, um, and you know, this is the, was the beginning. And, you know, with some of these artists, we are still working very closely together. Like George Baselitz, I had my first exhibition in my small gallery in Austria in 1984. So we are 35 years of, of working together, which is uh, very rewarding and very, very satisfying. Yeah. What do you see is, well, what's the most rewarding part of being a gallerist? Is it the, the work you do with the artists, the collectors? Well, there are many aspects to, to a gallerist's um, activity. I think the trust of the artists is maybe the most exciting part of it, so that you work with young artists, mid-career artists, very famous and well-known artists, and they trust you their work, you know. They kind of create their paintings and sculptures and installations, you know, often for a very long period in the, um, alone in the studio, and then this very important step to go outside to find an audience and to um, open the work to the public is a very important step for every artist and you know a gallery is in between it helps the artist to kind of make this step and you need first trust on both sides so the artists have to trust the gallery that they're able to present the work so that it's in the right and respectful way but also to find the right places where the work will go, which means the collections, the museums, to find the context for the work. And I think it's exciting to work on, on all of this, you know, to kind of start from the idea an artist has of a body of work he's going to do, follow through this process, meeting in the studio and discussing the work, and, and then to do the work of you know, creating a catalog, asking writers to come in and view the work, asking critics and curators, and, and then finally having the work transferred to the gallery, making an exhibition and finding the places. I think all of this is, is a very creative and exciting process. Um, it's every time new, because every time an artist is not like any other product, which you have a pattern and the pattern kind of works every time it's every time very different and very personal and very um, intimate to opening up to um, to the outside world and and the gallery has an interesting position within this and so I feel very privileged and to work with artists this way. I love the way you're talking about that relationship between artist, gallerist and collector because you, it sounds like you take a lot of care into making sure the works go into the appropriate collection or to the right home and in that sense but you're, you're playing a huge part in cultivating collections. Right? Yes, you know this is this is the other part which is very exciting you know to work with collectors not only if they buy one thing to decorate their homes, which is fine, you know, it's, it's, it's a way to look at art and often it's a start, it's a beginning, but more exciting is to really speak with collectors who have uh, some wider ambitions, you know, of creating a context between their works, you know, so sometimes collectors go in depth with one artist, so they're looking into different periods of the artist and we're trying to help them to find other works besides new works which we might present in an exhibition, um, but also often to find a dialogue between different other artists in a collection. And um, I think every collector is very different. And this, and also, you know, it depends on the social background, it depends on the cultural background. 
Um, it depends where collectors live because this kind of creates a different context. And to play with all of this and to be part of this is very exciting. And, and uh, I can learn a lot from this, you know, from all of this experience. So in a way, a collector learns from us because we bring in a lot of expertise and a lot of experience and maybe knowledge about the work of several artists. And, um, and we can learn because a fresh eye always looks very different at, at a piece of art or at an exhibition oh, than when you're very much inside. People. So in yeah. a way, it, it, it's, it's a real good you know, win-win situation between you know, the parties you work with and, and, and what we bring in. No, I really love that feeling because especially these days as I'm talking about Fairlag, you know, we are overwhelmed with choices and art. And I feel like with all these art fairs going on now, the business model and the role of the gallery has been changing. Mm -hmm. For you, you've been working with, you know, you opened your first gallery in 1983. <laughs> how, how do you think the, the model of the gallery has changed and, you know, you know the place I, of the fairs? You know, there's a different dynamic now, but in, in, in its principle, it didn't change so much. I think, you know, um, it is very much still the relationship between an artist and the studio and the way an artist works on its own in his studio with his assistant or, or not um, and to going public with the work so it's all about you know the communication between a studio and the work and the public and the public can be very sophisticated and very knowledgeable but it can be also very simple and curious and just trying to enjoy art um, and those are the principles always existed between artists, the representation, and 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 the gallery. So um, everything became faster, bigger. Um, the audience was was growing. You know, I really always compare the beginning when I started in this business. Also, it was the ivory tower. Everything was very elitist in its intellectually it was not easy to get access to the art world you know to get access to even see exhibitions because there was not much written about it and uh, people had a feeling you had to be part of a club to even enter a gallery it was very much secretive in a way and uh, and um, it had its own idea of an elite you know a cultural elite and this changed. I think, you know, art has moved from this ivory tower to the center of life. So today people grow up with the idea contemporary art is part of their life. And I think this is what is very exciting. And this is what is new and this is what's different. But in its principle, you know, to create great exhibitions um, and to show the work of an artist with all the respect and the passion an artist uh, deserves, I think has not changed so much. And I think Art fairs are exciting because you reach out to new audiences and you know here we are in Asia now and we are really speaking to an Asian audience, very much so, and I think this is why we are here and this is why we like it. But it still doesn't um, make the work which is our core work, which is creating exhibition in our galleries, um, devalued because I think it is still the most important part is what we are doing in the galleries. I still believe they are. Art fairs are great, they're important, but they never can replace what we do in our galleries. I think galleries are still the place where you can show one artist and um, where we are very careful with the architecture of the gallery, the light, the overall atmosphere. And an art fair cannot replace this. Um, so art fairs are additional tools to do our job. I love thinking but about it, that it does way. not replace it and I'm always saying this because I feel our main effort is to do incredible exhibition in our galleries and this is where an artist usually feels much better than to be in this kind of busyness of, an, of a very small space with many others in a very artificial building um, which has its own excitement and we would not be here if we would not believe in this model. Yeah, I see it as but like it two replace. different ways of viewing exactly. it personally. Yeah. Yeah, we just added to something see. to our job. Yeah, yeah. but I still yeah. love a good yeah. gallery show. Exactly, like, wow, it does. Yes, 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 me too. Yeah. So it was interesting because I 
I knew Nick already when he first joined your gallery. Mm -hmm. And so I have been following like your work going into Asia. Yes. Do you have plans to open a space in Asia at some well, point? Well, you know, Asia is fascinating and um, I just enjoy coming here. You know, I come like two, three times a year and, and every time I really find it is part of a, of a very fresh excitement and it's part of a future which will be very strong here in culture and um, so we're very open to look and to see what we might do and uh, but it's definitely somehow on our list yeah yeah i think sometimes the difficulty is actually deciding where as well um, sure you know there's so many choices there are many choices and yeah. uh, and we're carefully looking into the yeah. different possibilities and um, but i really enjoy working in asia and therefore i see myself somehow you know in one of these spaces yeah do you have um because I know you've been working a lot with uh, museums or institutions to, to bring some works and artists here for shows into Asia. Um, is there anything that we can look forward to? Um, yes, I don't think I can, can really uh -huh. talk about it yet, but we have some very exciting projects with some great institutions mm -hmm. in, in China, but mm -hmm. also in Southeast Asia. And um, I'm very looking forward to come more also, you know, working on this on these projects and some amazing artists, and uh, I think you will hear very soon. Amazing. Okay. Well, I think that's that's enough for us. Good. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Enjoyed this. Yes. No, I'm really excited to see more happening here. <laughs> yes. No.